let's back up as far Be as you can. in my wings with Wait, me. Wait, I can literally get in <laughs> yes. the little nest of yes. your wings. So we're I, in it. You you just put it on. I'm the yes. first one to talk to you since you've put them on. How heavy is it? Does your back already hurt? No, it's not. It's more about the wingspan that okay. makes it a little awkward, but they're not crazy heavy. No, okay, good. Yeah. It almost, I, I don't want you to tip back. Are you I know, I'm, about to, I'm, I'm literally about to fly away, guys. <laughs> it could happen. Who and knows? You, you haven't practiced yet backstage. You're about to take the stage. Yeah. Do, do, is there anything you have to do to kind of... I think I need to make sure they come forward. Ooh, <laughs> there they are. Um, so that's the main thing. So we'll get, we'll do a little adjusting to make sure we can really hit it on stage and that they are enveloping me. Envel okay. <laughs> Who came up with this idea? Did you do it? Or? This is a collaboration. Okay. So I wanted to be an eagle. My other dreams in life are <laughs> to random. Be, <laughs> random. To be a Victoria's Secret model, to be Wonder Woman, and Adam Selman made this glorious creation out of all those ideas. He just, he brought my vision to life. And I'm so excited how it all turned out. How long did it take to create all of this? It's all little sequins it's almost. So I think there are 5,000 of these laser cut feathers on me right now, which is kind of amazing. But he did this in three weeks. Wow. He's amazing. And the, the big question is, do you get to keep it? I think so. But what do I do with it? <laughs> what on earth will what you do with it? What do I do? Like frame it? It's, it's a full wall. <laughs> it looks amazing. But but he did say you could probably keep it. I think maybe. We'll, we'll talk it out afterwards, Adam. <laughs> I said the main thing that I want is an autographed sketch of it because that's like... Yeah. That's the momento. You can rent it out to <laughs> girls like me that just want to yes, live. Yes, <laughs> exactly. If you want to be a Victoria's Secret Angel for a night. Or an eagle. Or an eagle. It was my lifelong this dream, too. <laughs> okay. Everyone's dreams. And did you, do you have any uh, sort of rituals right before you go on stage? Not including this outfit, really, but just in pageants. <laughs> yes. So deep breathing is my main ritual. It just helps me get calm. And I actually really do like to do it with my arms out, which has been the joke with the eagle costume, because every time I put it on, I just feel like I need to go like this. But that's actually also what I do backstage no matter what I'm wearing because it just makes you feel strong and powerful. Cool. Is there anything <laughs> you're uh, superstitious about in pageants going going out there? Ooh, no. Thankfully, no, because I, I feel like when I get superstitious about something, if it doesn't happen, then I freak out. So thankfully, no pageant superstitions. You're gorgeous. I don't know what tricks you would do, but I hear things like Vaseline on the teeth, hairspray on the legs. Do you do anything like that? I hear these tricks. I've never yeah. done them. <laughs> but <laughs> What tricks do you have? Anything? Nothing? I, you have to drink a lot of water as okay. you're preparing. Well, that's just in life you're supposed <laughs> I to. I know. But I think, I think girls get nervous and yeah. they try to you know, not eat too much or not drink during the day, but you definitely, you've, you have to stay hydrated and have your snacks because these are long days. Yeah. And lastly, <laughs> these girls are on your turf. It's Miss Universe, but you're Miss USA. Yes. <laughs> I do have a little bit of a home court advantage, but I'm trying to also make them feel welcome, welcome. here in Vegas. And it's been a fun, it's been a fun month with all the women. Yeah. The yeah. Regal Eagle welcomes you. Yes. <laughs>